folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 RPOD 178 Hood River Edition. The Hood River gives you more clearance, so if you plan on doing a little bit of traveling on the, uh, the road less traveled, if you will, going down some back roads, this one will be better equipped to handle it than a lot of other travel trailers. Let's take a look at the general floor plan. So uh, the cool thing about this one is you have the bed up front, a big U dinette in the back, as well as a slide out kitchen helping to open up this overall space. So even though it's a smaller trailer, it definitely feels much larger. Right here, as soon as you walk in, is the TV. This is on a swing arm mount, so if you want to swing it around to watch it in bed or in the kitchen, you can do that. Otherwise, it's a great shot to the U dinette. Your main controls are all located right up here, including your tank monitoring panel. Also, you'll see this one is prepped for solar, so if you want solar, uh, you have a spot in which your controller would be installed. Multimedia center directly above that. You can see the speaker controls right to the side to have the, the sound inside, outside, or both at the same time. Underneath is additional storage that utilize these nets, so it's very easy to access. As we uh, take a step back here, you'll see the bathroom over to the side, thermostat right outside of that. This does control both the AC as well as the furnace. Dropping down below, you'll also see your propane leak detector located there. The furnace itself is actually under the bed. You will see that uh, located right in that little cubby hole. So let's take a look at the bathroom itself. We'll open the door up. The R-Pod does utilize a wet bath. So. I will stand in here to give you an idea of size, folks. I am six foot. As you can see, I'm basically topping it out uh, between the sink and the toilet. If you plan on standing and showering, you definitely don't have a ton of room. But, you know, again, if you're, you're out somewhere where you don't have other facilities, this will definitely work in a pinch. If you're at a campground, I, I recommend just using the campground shower. Just be a little bit easier. If you take a seat, as far as the toilet space, you know, my feet do touch the front, but honestly, it's not terrible space. I have plenty of room for my knees. My shoulders do hit on both sides, but again, I can definitely manage. The sink is right in front of me. You will see you kind of have like a little tub filler here, essentially is what your faucet is. Hot and cold, and that also goes up to your hand wand for the shower. Right up top is a max air fan. Folks, the cool thing about this, right, is that not only does this help dry things off very quickly, but if you notice on the door, you can see how big of an opening there is right here. And they did that for a reason. And that's because the max air fan is in here and it has really strong pull through. So that way, if you want to open some windows, you don't want to run your AC, turn this guy on, you will get some ventilation coming through the camper. There is some storage here on the wall as well. So it gives you a little spot to put like your soap, shampoo, stuff like that. And there's an LED light in there too, which is pretty bright. It'll help you if you need to take a shower or use the bathroom at night. Right up front is the queen size bed. Again, as I mentioned, I am six foot. You can see if I lay down here, I can fully stretch out, no problem. Windows on both ends as well as right up front to let in natural light. As I mentioned, there is the cubby hole underneath. Just be somewhat weary of what you put down there if you plan on running the furnace because the furnace is right there. Also, electrical outlets, if you need to plug in cell phone, tablet, something like that, you can do so. Moving into the kitchen. You have these beautiful seamless countertops on here. You don't have to worry about T-mold or anything where it pops off. It looks nice and it allows you to undermount these sinks. That way when you have your sink top cover, all this is great usable prep space. We take that off, you will see the undermounted stainless steel circular bowl with the high rise faucet. Over to this side is our cooktop glass cover. So again, you can use this as prep space as well. When you flip that up like so, this doubles as a backsplash, gives you access to those two burners. And if you need to plug anything else in, like toaster, coffee maker, you'll see an electrical outlet placed right there. Up top is storage. You just lift up the door just like so. Notice that it is strut supported for easy one hand operation. And then as we drop down below, you'll see under the sink, you have good storage there, as well as two full extension ball bearing drawers. Rounding out the slide out kitchen right next door is our convection microwave oven up top as well as the Dometic fridge with a drop down freezer compartment here. And then you will also notice a little bit of storage there underneath. If we take a look at the very front of the RV, you will see the U-shaped dinette. I currently have the table in the down position. 
You can take some of the cushions, put it on top there, uh, you know, and create additional sleeping space. So if you have guests that need to stay the night, you can accommodate them. Otherwise, you can pop that table up. You have a big space for kind of entertain, have everyone sit around, sit back, relax. And as I mentioned, you do have a good view of the TV. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2019 RPOD 178 Hood River Edition. Right up front here, folks, is a power tongue jack. This makes it a lot easier to hook up and disconnect your tow vehicle, because all you have to do is flip this rocker switch here to raise and lower the tongue. You'll also see you have a light right up front for added visibility at night. Right behind that, you have a 20 pound propane tank with the cover, rails here for your battery, and right underneath is a propane quick connect. Now that is meant to use for the outside kitchen. I'll show you in just a moment. But if you have a grill or something you want to hook up, by all means, you can hook up your favorite grill right there too. The front end, you will see the diamond plating right here to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And above that is the one piece fiberglass roof. This is a seamless piece from the front all the way up top and down the back. By eliminating the seams going down the width of the trailer, you help prevent water intrusion. As we all know, having water come in from the roof is the number one enemy of the RV, so anything you can do to prevent that is great. That's one of the excellent things about the construction of the R-Pod. Another cool thing about the construction is the width. So even though it is a eight foot overall width because of the uh, wheels and the fenders, your base portion right here, your body, is only six and a half foot wide. So what that means is that a lot of your vehicles, you don't have to get mirror extenders to be able to see down the sides of the RV. Coming around to the side. So as I had mentioned, this is the outside kitchen. It is magnetic, so you can just stick it up there like so. Undo the lock, pull it out. You'll see that you have your little uh, water basin right here. That's meant to be used in conjunction with the spray port. So you have a little blue coiled hose inside with uh, basically like a, little, uh, like a little hose head on there, a little spray head. But that way you can use this as a sink. And right next to that is your two burner cooktop. As I mentioned, that will plug into that propane connection right up front. Taking a step back a little bit further, you have the foldable steps. They do have the aluminum treads. That way they're not gonna rust on you. Plus they have the traction, the grip tape on there. So that way if it's wet, you have good control. You don't slip and fall. You'll also see the foldable grab handle here. So you have even more control when entering the RV. <clears throat> the door itself does have a window there for privacy. You can see that it's not clear glass that way people can't see in, but it does allow natural light to come in to help brighten up the RV. Above that is the power awning. It's awesome to have a power awning on a camper it makes it super simple that way you can just touch a button and have that roll out same thing to have it go back in and it has an led light strip on there so you have light at night you see the outside speakers as i mentioned earlier those are connected to that multimedia center inside but that unit is bluetooth capable so right out here this again is part of that hood river edition you can see the 15 inch off-road tires look at the tread on there also, you have the uh, gorgeous aluminum alloy wheels. That way it doesn't rust out either. Another part of the Hood River, something you can't see, is that vent fan I showed you in the bathroom. It has a Max Air cover on that Max Air fan, so that way you don't have to worry about uh, closing the fan when it rains. You can leave it open. And same thing uh, you know, when you are traveling. Right in the back here, we'll open this up. You can see inside that you have a ton of storage back here, which is great. There is a door on the other side. It's not quite as big as the one on this side, but it does allow you to get, uh, access those items from either side. In the event that you have a blowout, you'll see the spare is located right back here. And folks, just like we saw on the sides, you get the off-road tires for the spare as well. Now, it doesn't have quite as fancy of a wheel, but it does have the same tread, the same wheel. That way, as it's towing, you're not getting a terrible tow experience going down the road. So again, this is the other side of that pass-through storage. Depending on where you're going, you may have to fill up your fresh water tank, may not have city water, so that is where you will fill your fresh tank. If you do have city water, you will plug it in right underneath that. Dropping down, you will see right here, that is your gray tank termination. The black is actually in front of the axle. This camper does have black tank flush, so that way instead of sticking a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank, you hook the hose up right here has sprayers built in, it'll wash it out for you. Cable and satellite inlet will be directly above that. If we take a look on the slide out itself, you'll see the outside shower with both hot and cold water access. 
And lastly, right down here is that black tank termination. And right next door to that is where your 30 amp detachable power cord will plug in at. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the R Pod 178 Hood River Edition. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.